Hello everyone and welcome back to a new PHP programming tutorial. In today's video, we are not going to talk about PHP exactly, but rather uh, something related to Apache server that is .htaccess. Uh, .htaccess files are configuration files used for security and um, some URL rewriting tricks and these are usually very useful uh, it will be useful in our later examples i am not good at them or writing the configuration but usually i do them once i i manage to get the configuration right once and i forget about them so let me show you what is going on in this site here uh, in the previous examples whenever you enter a wrong URL you you get an error message but here we are entering URLs um, PHP files doesn't we, we are not getting an error we are writing some text here doesn't get an error so what is going on here well basically here is a configuration that is telling Apache server not to use this same URL here but rather to change it. I am not claiming I understand all, all the configuration, but basically this rewrite base, it means go to the folder test04. So basically it will go to the same folder as in here. And then uh, check these conditions if they apply. These are regular expressions and stuff like that. Uh, the, uh, the rewrite rule will apply so it will redirect your uh, request into index.php and send your URL as a get parameter here. Okay. Uh, this is the important. This is all for me. This is all I need to know. I don't need extra details about it. But what could we do with this? So let me show you. First, I'm not going to do anything. I will just say PHP. Okay. So here I'm going to say first echo PHP page has been called semicolon. So here we are having a PHP page. Uh, uh, called index and we are writing text. In the URL I'm not writing anything, just writing some rubbish and press enter. PHP page has been called. Let me write bmx.php enter. Still PHP page called. Right? So whatever I am writing here, it is being redirect and uh, not redirected the url has be uh, is being rewritten in the server in such a way it will uh you know uh make it process index.php now if we go back here you find that the original url is being passed as get parameter so all i have all i have to do is do this okay with url and i'll just say get sorry it is as simple as that now let's have a look so i'm gonna refresh this page now you can see this url that is written after test04 is be uh, appears here right very nice so what also do we have i could actually write a b c d e f whatever rubbish also and hit enter and i'm getting this as well so uh, let me say wxyz.php the page doesn't appear so whatever i am writing in here based on this configuration Whatever I am writing after this, uh, after this, which is this part, will be passed as a URL parameter. 
okay so what does that help us with well basically uh, first it, it allows us to hide the pages from the end user and also it makes your site a little bit more organized in terms of URLs so we could actually here um, add a number uh, uh, make the URL actually uh, as commands and these commands will, will result in us calling the corresponding pages right so let's have a look how could this be done so first of all I'm gonna make this one let's assume I'm gonna send commands through the URL not through the get but through this re redirection here so I'm gonna say cmd equals get right so first I'm gonna say uh, I want hello message right so I'm going to add a new file say hello.php okay so I could say echo hello mr. Smith okay so in index I could say F command equals hello in that case I will just include the file say hello .php. it is as simple as that so I am gonna do the following I will just say the word hello hello mr. Smith so as you can see here what I wrote here this is not a PHP page it, it is just a word now our index dot uh, PHP would receive the word hello and the URL get parameter and I'm checking and guessed it very straightforward so I could do what call the say hello page uh, maybe I want to say goodbye so we could also add something here say goodbye All right so here echo bye bye and semicolon here there you go go back to index um, else if cmd equals goodbye and include say goodbye now this is not a practical example or I'll add, to be more accurate this is not a real life example but what, what are we doing here we are doing something uh, that we will cover later on something like a controller or um, more like uh, not a, sorry not the word controller like routing so we are getting a URL and we are uh, changing the route and selecting the accurate page based on the URL so this is like routing we will get into that later on in our practical example when we want to build a website so let us save this one and now um, I'm gonna go here I won't write anything so undefined key nothing so there is no no URL here I'm gonna say goodbye and it, it redirected me to what to say goodbye.php very straightforward and so on okay so uh, 
I hope this example demonstrates what .htaccess files could do. Basically, rewriting the URL in a way uh, that hides the actual PHP pages. Okay, and uh, we will uh, discover how we could use this to our advantage in a more practical example. So, I hope you find this useful. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.